Bald Rock City. Turning man. Here we go. I can't imagine a trip like this could ever come true. Stress-free, in the mountains. This is the ultimate dream. The event has been deemed Turning Man. Basically, it's a gathering of some of the world's best snowboarders from all areas of snowboarding, whether it's building backcountry jumps and riding lines and like people who have just gotten done with their Olympic run. Yeah. It was a pretty small idea and then it just kept kind of like, and I was like, well, let's get a, let's get a park guy here. Let's get Patterson here. Let's get JP here. Make some features. If the snow sucks, at least we've got all these features to ride. And then otherwise, if there's POW, this is the place for POW. We're gonna have a good time, no matter what. We've got over 200 kilometers of cat roads that go down steep stuff and kind of flat stuff and undulating terrain. I thought it'd be really fun to put something together. Had a lot of contests up here and we've had a lot of film shoots and stuff, but this was really an opportunity to just get really talented people together. You know, to have Torstein come out with his vision. Legendary crew. 50 dudes. <laughs> Combine that with Danny and his vision. Jeff Patterson, the creator. We only have him here for a few more hours. Gotta make use of him before he goes. And it's all hand work from there, things. baby. <laughs> It's going <laughs> The plan for this trip was to show up and really build some stuff, build some side hits, go out and find some cool gaps to build and really take over Baldface because it's not very often you get Baldface to yourself. No clients, just your homies. Go. Ah! What? Powder Park session here at the Powder Factory and Powder Prison in Bald Rock City. Woo! Fire's going on, some music, we got the ice bar. Way better than Club Men. <laughs> I don't know if this jump has enough pop for the triple back. Knowing April in Canada, it's not usually known for its backcountry anymore. It's starting to heat up, and that's why we built all this park stuff. But we were blessed with two feet since we've been here of cold, great blower snow. And we've been able to just have this spur of the moment, lucky trip. First bald face laugh ever, dude. Oh, As a professional snowboarder, being able to take some time off and just dedicate it to going to a place like Baldface and just riding everything, riding it however you want, not worrying about film shots or anything, that's the best thing ever. Tell you what, we've been wet, we've been frozen, we've been whipped by the wind. We're gonna pow pow. Everywhere.
they're here. I mean, the original idea was side hits, and everybody responded without hesitating, yes, I'm coming. Imagine, a, you know, throwing 20 marbles in a bathtub sort of thing. They kind of go all everywhere, and they bounce with each other. It's mad. <laughs> Yeah, everybody's a pro snowboarder, but not everybody's landing that <laughs> for sure. Yeah, you're just rolling the dice. And building side hits down a cat track that's fairly skinny, cat whip. I think we slowly learned how to, how to ride that without almost killing each other, but the first few goes of just dropping like nine or 10 people at one time, just like mayhem. Yeah, no regard for like, you know, you go ahead and drop first. It was like, I'm going. This looks too much fun. Those runs, even though they were tracked out hard and we kept hitting them when they were ice and a little bit of pow on them, it was so fun. It's definitely like BMX. It was hectic. Pretty close, close to each other. Boys are excited. Let's do it again. Uh, nobody's hurt. We're like, <laughs> that's a wrap. Everyone just get out of here. <laughs>